hello everyone i welcome you all to my youtube channel so in this particular video i'll be discussing about the complete process of o that is common offer acceptance portal so in the year 2020 i went through the complete process of co and after giving my gate 2020 i got some offers at this portal only so i'll be posting the screenshots of the offer that i got how i accepted and frozen them at that time how the institute mailed me that you have to complete this and this procedures after accepting how i retained the offers the complete screenshots will be posted at the end of the video so please watch the video till the end so that you can get a glimpse at least beforehand that how an uh, how an offer will be given to you how will how much time will be given to you how will you have to accept it what the tab will actually look like after the offer is given to you so please wait and watch the video till the end and also subscribe to my channel if you like the content so without any delay let's get started see this portal is a portal that is uh, basically for IITs that is any in Indian Institutes of Technology so there are few IITs that offer their offers through this common offer acceptance portal like IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT BHU, IIT Guwahati, IIT Mandi and so on similarly one IIC Bangalore also offers through this similarly some PSUs also recruit through this so before filling out the forms of IITs you would have to register yourself at this common offer acceptance portal why is this called common offer acceptance portal because this is one common platform where all the IITs will offer you their seats that means after you fill out all the forms the all the forms when can you fill all the forms after you register at this portal after you register they will mail you the registration number the code registration number that is unique for everyone also they will mail you a particular password through which you can log in to the cope and you can check what offer has been offered to you in a particular round there will be five basic rounds and then there will be a minimum of four spot rounds the five basic rounds in five basic rounds out of those five in the four you will have the option of retain and in all the five you will have the option of uh, freeze uh, accepting and freezing and rejecting and waiting so let us get started see first of all you will have to type cope 2021 in the google tab after that you will be directed to this portal through the first link after that you will have to click on registration link this is the second row that you can see here after clicking on the registration link you will be directed to a page something like this wherein you can fill in your details and register yourself at the COP 2021 portal now see the valid gate scores that are uh, valid for this particular portal are 2019 2020 and 2021 if you have given gate in any of these three years you are eligible for this registration portal now see what you have to do you have to register yourself by writing the gate registration number but remember that the gate registration number should be written without the paper code suppose your gate registration number is ce21 s7 then you will have to write as 21 s7 similarly now see if you have appeared in three years or two years then try to write the latest year and the rest uh, in the coming uh, login portal you have to write the paper code suppose you are from civil engineering then you will have to write ce similarly you will have to write the gate score that is associated with this particular registration number suppose your gate score is 745 so you have to write your gate score now you have to write your name the name should be corresponding to the gate scorecard whatever name has been displayed in the scorecard write that directly here then you have to choose your date of birth you can choose that through this particular calendar after that fill in the captcha that is at the bottom and click on validate option after clicking on the validate option you will be directed to a page where you will have to enter your email address two times and you will have to enter your phone number as well and after you write the email address and the phone number click on the submit option and after you click on the submit option you will be mailed by iit delhi why iit delhi because iit delhi is the institute that is handling the co portal for 2021 i hope it is clear they will mail you your registration number that is the co registration number and a password and also there will be a particular url through which you can uh, log in and finally you can update all the gate uh, scores that you have appeared for I hope it's clear after you uh, submit and after you get yourself registered you will have to log in 
either you can log in from here or you can also log in from the url that they provide you in the mail then you have to write a user id then you have to write your password then you will have to log in and then you will have to update your password as per your own convenience and finally you will have to fill all the gate scores and all the registration gate all the gate registration numbers that you are in which you have appeared now subsequently what happens is after you register yourself and after you log in yourself now during the first round that means when is the first round let us check the details let us check the important dates the first round is on 13th of may or 14th of may in between and that means it can either be on 13th or on 14th so there will be a particular time when the offer will be offered you to you by the iits it can so happen that some particular iit may not be ready in the round one for the offer that means during my time what happened that iit mandi was not completely ready owing to covid situations and all so it got delayed that means iit mandi was not available to offer you any offer in round one so at, at a particular timing, you will have to log into this portal to check that if you have got some offer by any IIT or by any PSU or not. So on every mentioned date, like 13 to 14 will be round 1, 13, uh, 20 to 21 will be round 2. In every round, you will have to log in and you will have to check that you have some particular offer or not. Now, what is this accept and freeze? What is retain and wait? I'll, I'll be telling you in the video further. There will be five basic rounds. I have already told you these are the main rounds and after these main rounds if there are some vacant seats in any particular IIT or IISC there may be these four rounds these rounds are called as the spot rounds depending on the vacant seats the rounds may be round E round F and so on there may be any number of rounds depending on the vacant seats available in any particular institute it may so happen that in round D there is only one or two IIT left that is uh, there for offering you any particular seat because all the other IITs have filled their complete vacant seats so uh, what happens is let us see the algorithm of COPE uh, by this flowchart so this is flowchart for the basic rounds that means round 1 2 3 4 and 5 now see what happens is in round 5 you will not have the option of retain and wait either you will have to accept that offer or you will have to reject that offer and wait accepting it's now see suppose if you are in the first round what happens is suppose if you are offered four offers one two three and four suppose one offer is from iit delhi one is from bombay one is from isc bangalore or one is from suppose say iit kovahati now suppose if you are very sure that you have to accept isc bangalore because there is no institute that is above isc bangalore you have a quite quite a good score and you are satisfied with isc bangalore what you do you choose the most preferred offer that means isc bangalore definitely it is the most preferred offer now what you do that you accept it and freeze it that means after accepting and freezing isc bangalore you are out of this process in the first round only you have to submit it you have to go to the website of isc bangalore and they will particularly mail you that you have been selected in our institute and you have to complete the formalities like uh, filling up the fees and uh, giving the personal details and so on so this is uh, this ends up here only. now suppose you do not accept and freeze that means you retain and wait that or any particular one offer can be retained and waited you can wait in the next round so that some offer may get updated and so on after retaining and waiting you submit and now you will have to come back again in the next round and you will have to see whether you have got some better offer or not similarly now in the second round you will have that one retained offer and some updated offer may be there or may not be there then again in that round you will have the option to accept and freeze to once again retain and wait that same offer only one offer can be retained maximum two times if you select a new offer in second round then you can retain that new offer again two times i hope it is clear to you but one offer cannot be retained more than twice now this is how the algorithm works now what happens suppose if you reject then rejecting an offer simply means that you do not want to accept that offer anyhow suppose iit mandi offers you and this is the least preferable iit for you then you simply reject and wait and you submit suppose if you have only one offer in the first round then it is better that you do not reject it let's retain and wait it will not cost you anything so i hope this is clear to you the algorithm is clear to you in the last round that is in the fifth round you will not have the offer to retain and wait you will only have the offer to accept and reject see this is the flow chart for the decisive rounds also called as spot rounds 
you should remember that in the spot rounds there is no option for retaining and waiting that means either you will have to accept and freeze that option or you will have to reject and wait if you reject and wait then you can go to the next round that is next spot round and you can see what offer you got again you can accept it or reject it and again you can go to the next round if that next round happens but you do not have the option to retain and wait. Suppose if you are offered any two offers, depending on your score, suppose you get IIT BHU and suppose you get uh, ISM Dhanbad say. So uh, if you are not satisfied with any of the offers, then you cannot hold any offer for that particular round or for the next round. You will either have to throw that offer away or you will have to straight away accept that offer. Accepting that offer means you are out of the COPE portal and you will not be considered for the subsequent rounds. Now if you reject both the offers then in the next round that offer will not come to you again but some updated offer may come or even may not come because there may not be any seat that is left in any of the institute. So please take your decisions very carefully. So this is the uh, chart for the decisive round that means suppose you have four offers you choose the most preferred offer then you will have to accept or freeze and submit then you will have to complete the formalities of that particular institute of the or of that particular PSU or suppose if you uh, do, did not like any particular offer that means no offer is chosen then you will simply have to select reject you will have to submit then come to the next round again uh, do the similar process check the offers choose the most preferred one accept it or freeze it or reject it so this is what the process of COPE is for the decisive rounds. I hope it is clear to you all and let me tell you once again that for the main rounds you can retain and wait any particular offer a maximum of two times. Okay, I hope it is clear. Now let us take a very good example uh, for the main rounds. See main rounds are very important so we must analyze the main rounds very effectively. Suppose let's say you have four offers in the main rounds. The very first offer is from IIT Delhi, the second is from IIT Bombay, the third is from IISC Bangalore and the fourth is from IIT Guwahati. Now see, suppose you do not like any of the offers. Suppose you do not like, uh, then what you do, either you reject and reject every offer after rejecting every offer means that these offers will not come back to you again. Some updated offer may come but these offers the same branches will not be offered to you again that means you have rejected those branches but see rejecting in the first round is never a very preferable option because in the first round you can always retain and wait either not accept and freeze but you should retain and wait suppose you retain IIT Delhi okay now in the second round you will have that IIT Delhi same branch again with you there may be some another updated offer also in the second round suppose in the in, in the second round you also get an offer from iit bombay with a better branch now what you do you get attracted towards iit bombay better branch and you leave iit delhi now what you do you leave iit delhi and you accept that iit bombay better branch in the second round and you retain that you do not accept and freeze instead you retain that now you have retained that in the second round. Now in the third round that IIT Delhi offer that you rejected in the second round will not come to you again. But this IIT Bombay offer, updated offer is again with you. Now suppose there is no other offer in this round with you. So you are only left with IIT Bombay updated offer. But you are still not completely satisfied with this. So what you do, you again retain and wait. You can retain and wait this again because this is the second time you are retaining the same offer. So you have retained and wait, chill. Now come in the round fourth. What you have in the round fourth is again this IIT Bombay updated offer only. There is no new offer with you but the only retained offer is displaying over the co portal. That means now you will not have any option to retain that offer again. Either you can reject this or you can accept this. If you reject this, check out the round fifth. You may have some offer or you may not have some offer. Or if you accepted it, then you are out of this portal. I hope the complete process is now clear to you. Rejecting an offer means you will have the option to get some other offer in the next round. But accepting it 
simply means you have accepted and you are out of this particular process retaining only applies two times for the same branch from the same institute the same institute can be retained many times if the branches change suppose you get iit bombay environment two times you can retain in the third round you get iit bombay uh, suppose structures then you can again retain that two times the retain and wait applies for the branch and the institute in a combination that means bombay and environment can be retained two times bombay and structures can be retained two times and so on i hope it is clear to you so this is one of the screenshots from the cope 2020 portal so uh, this is of round seven that means round five up to round five they are the main rounds round sixth means round a that is first spot round similarly round seven means round b that is second spot round so this is the screenshot from round b basically that is one of the spot rounds so when i logged into the portal what happened was these are the instructions that were given before the offer was seen so after reading the instructions you are very well uh, versed with the fact that there is no retain and wait option so there are basically two options accept and freeze and reject and wait so you will have to click this particular checkbox after you click this particular checkbox you are directed to the offers that the cope portal has for you so you can easily see that there are there were two offers for me so one was from iit bhu and second was from iit Roorkee. so it was my decision if i want to choose any of them that means if i want to accept and freeze any of them yeah, or if i wanted to go for reject and wait so what you have to do was basically either you tick on this or you tick on this and after you tick on this it will ask you whether you want to accept or whether you want to reject so I accepted IIT BHU in that particular round. I clicked on the first checkbox and after that it asked me to whether I was sure that I wanted to submit and I wanted to accept and freeze. After that when I accepted and freeze frozen then this window showed me that this is my final selection and I accepted MTech in Civil Engineering in IIT BHU. So this is how I finally selected this particular IIT. And after that, when I visited or logged into my COPE portal once again, it showed that I have accepted the offer from this and this uh, uh, particular institute and I'm no more eligible for any of the further processes. And finally, I received the mail from the COPE 2020 coordinator. And this was the mail that suggested that uh, that congratulated me and that told me that I have finally accepted and I have to uh, await the email or the SMS from the further institutes. So this is all about the complete procedure of COPE. I hope you understood the complete procedure in detail. So thank you everyone.